Hi, all. It's another beautiful day, and I'm out enjoying the weather while I still can. It's a little cooler than my last walk, so some sleeves today, but nonetheless, um, it's quite beautiful, and I am going to embrace the change of seasons, even though I am a very warm-natured guy. Today's topic is... I'm not sure how to describe it, but I'll just delve into the subject. Many of us go through life trying to avoid heartache or distress or discomfort. Many of us try to avoid um, the challenges of life and what they bring with them. And what this results in is that we often live our lives in a metaphorical silence. Many of us are afraid to ask for help when we need it because we don't want to face shame, another concept I'll have to tackle on another talk. Many of us avoid many things because we just do not like the judgments we think will come with certain aspects of trying reaching, achieving, failing, success, in success. We just are afraid to share those with others. And not only the bad moments, but some of, some of us are even afraid to share our good moments. So we kind of live this secret life inside that doesn't help us move forward in life. It doesn't help us advance our mindset or our hearts in any significant or meaningful way. I often like to think of it as we are born and given a box full of beautiful colors and crayons. And yet, we are quite afraid to use them. We're quite afraid to take them out of the box, to break one, to peel the paper off, to color inside the lines, outside the lines. Um, again, metaphorically, I think it's because on some level, we are afraid of judgment. Now, of course, when we're children, we don't have those concepts. So we grab the crayons right up, we play with them, we color, we draw. In my case as a child, I melted them down and made army men out of molds I had. Um, my mother can speak to that on another day. But as we become adults, that same freedom, that same exploration, that same liberation to use all the colors and color an apple purple if we want and the sky green if we want, disappears. And that's because we are quite afraid of what others will think of us in those moments. And this results in us all living a secret life that doesn't allow us to be our best or to reach our full potential. And the end result of years and years of living and doing this often means that we fail in the ability to even see the coloring book, the crayons, the lines, whether we're going to color inside or outside. And that's unfortunate because I'm a firm believer that when we tackle tough topics, tough situations, we're given an opportunity to rise. We're given an opportunity to be creative, to put everything we've learned thus far into some type of action to help us learn, grow, and move forward in some way. And there is the magic of speaking up. Let someone know you're struggling. There's nothing to be ashamed of. Let someone know you need some help. Nothing to be ashamed of there. We all need someone at some time. So don't be afraid of that color. Don't be afraid to rise up and help someone in need when they have these moments. And most of all, try to remember that we all share in this, even if we don't admit to it openly. 
So pick up that box of crayons, grab that coloring book, and use every color in the box. Experience every color, every moment for what it's worth. Because when you use things like that, you learn from them. You become wiser. You grow. You learn that you like to color inside the lines. Maybe you learn that you like to color outside of the lines. Maybe you learn that you don't care for the lines at all, and you're just going to draw something on a blank piece of paper all by yourself. And that, my friends, is the beauty of this life. So never be ashamed of anything like that. Never be ashamed to grow, to reach out, to try, to share. And when you do so, I think you become wiser, you become more educated, and you definitely become more open, not only for yourself, but for others. And with that, I'm going to check it out today. Please hit the subscribe button on the YouTube channel. Please like, follow, and support The Daily Buddha via the blog, YouTube, and other outlets. And I'll see you again on the next video. Peace and love as always. Jim.